Uh, first, I hope everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day. Uh, and second, um, there was an article that really um, upset some people, uh, but it's actually helpful information to have. And it just came out recently where the long-term studies looking at autopsy data uh, showed that uh, APOE 4.4, so if you have two copies, and that's 7 million Americans, and it's actually about 10% of people who have Alzheimer's disease, um, instead of saying that that's a risk, which we've always said it's a high risk, well over 50% in some studies uh, closer to 90%, what they said was basically virtually everybody by the time of 82, and their numbers were that 88% of them had dementia and virtually all had changes uh, pathologically. Well, you have to remember, however, these were people that were studied who weren't on any sort of protocol, who weren't on prevention, who weren't doing the very things that we talk about each week. So I would say on the positive side here, this just reinforces what we've been saying all along. If you're at risk, please get on active prevention. As we always say, anyone who is 40 years of age or older, please get a cognoscopy, get evaluation, get on active prevention. Um, if you haven't done that, even if you have early, early symptoms, please, please uh, get on treatment. So while you have early SCI, which is that second stage after the asymptomatic stage, um, the PTAU 217 numbers are going to be helpful to us. Um, they're getting better. Uh, we are using these in the trial. Um, it, there, we don't always see exactly what we expected, but the good news is they are good early markers to tell you when you are headed for problems, a little bit like when people were first doing fasting insulins and hemoglobin A1Cs and things like that. So you can see problems ahead of time. Uh, so that'll help us to say, okay, things are headed in the wrong direction. Let's bring it down. You can use these to follow as well. So if you are an APOE 4.4 and you read that paper and you were concerned, please don't be concerned, but please get on uh, prevention or treatment as early as possible. We really can reduce the global burden of dementia.